take all bubbling over today outside in East Tennessee College. It is news we've been following all day today. Hiawassee College students protesting outside a closed door meeting with college leadership and faculty. You'll remember last week the college making the unexpected announcement they would be closing the institution for good May 10th. Hiawassee College pointing to its rural location, declining enrollment, and financial reasons, among others. As to the closure, well, new here at 4 WATE 6 on your side, reporter Laura Holm has more on the protest and what the students want. So this is where students can't go. They can't get inside the BLC. And instead, they've been standing outside of it right here with signs, and they've been saying one thing all day. And that's that they want answers. They asked for honesty while waiting. We've all been dying to talk to the board and get answers that make sense. This is a pitiful way to inform students that they're losing their, their, their college. Among them, deputies waiting, making sure no one went inside to be part of a closed door meeting with faculty. I just feel like we have the right to know, and I feel like we have just as much of a right to know as any of the faculty and staff do. So it really breaks my heart that they just kind of pushed us to the side and that our concerns don't really matter to them right now. When a door was unlocked, students and alums went inside. Teachers came out of that meeting to calm nerves. Then a canine officer was brought in. It created a tense and charged atmosphere. It was really aggressive for us to be students just wanting answers and us being in our own building here. We weren't, you know, we were protesting a little bit, but for them to recognize that they were outnumbered and then having to bring a dog in to control us, because Nobody here is violent. We're not acting out. I mean, all we want is answers. If they would just come out and tell us what's going on. We wouldn't, it wouldn't be any need for all of this. Next week on Friday. Eventually, Hiawassee College leadership did come out from closed doors. The school's president, Dr. Robin Tricoli, simply telling students there would be two meetings over the coming weeks. This wasn't something that they could predict because none of us had any idea. There was no, no, like, Warning sign. Faculty inside that meeting say numbers didn't add up and many questions went unanswered. Well, there was conversation about how long we're going to be paid. You know, the faculty and staff would be paid, and we were told through April and possibly through May 10th. Uh, possibly doesn't really pay the bills, of course. I agree with the students. It's been like a, a secret or something that they're trying to hide. In Madisonville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. A lot of upset people there. Now, as you just heard, Hiawassee College President Dr. Robert Tricoli letting students know they would be meeting with students and their parents coming up next Friday. And it is important to note there will also be a meeting with alumni on April 27th.